Hello, white readers. Today is lesson 17 of Miami Jackson Makes the Play, and it is the last two chapters of the book. When we get done with today's lesson, that will be the end of the story. But at the end of the presentation today, I've included two more titles in the Miami Jackson uh, series. So if you've liked the story, you can check out the other two. So let's go ahead and get right to our presentation and talk about what our lesson activities will be for today. Well, this is lesson 17, and of course we've been uh, practicing inference questions because that is something that a, a white reader really needs to be good at. But because this is the end of the story, we will also be talking about theme. Now you know that this is a big skill that all readers have to know how to identify. When you read a story, you have to ask yourself, what was the author trying to teach me? Was there a message that the author was wanting me to learn? Remember, we did this a lot with our animal stories, and we're going to be doing this with this story as well. So for your supplies and materials, you just need your notebook and a pencil, and chapters 8 and 9 are included with this presentation. So our learning goals, when we get done reading today, we will have an inference question to answer, and then we will also determine the theme of the book. Okay, well, let's see. Do you remember what theme is? Well, theme is the main message. What the author wants you to learn or know. A broad idea about life. Or it's usually not specifically stated, but you have to make an inference. So one of the things that um, sometimes is helpful to think about when trying to determine theme is, how has the main character changed in the story? So have we seen Miami change in any way? What is he thinking about or doing that is different at the end of the story than at the beginning of the story? We're gonna watch a really quick YouTube video about theme. Using okay, so that was just a little bit of a snippet to help you think about theme. So what did Miami Jackson do in this story? Remember, he started the story not really like in Destiny Tate at all. Has his feelings about Destiny Tate changed at all as we've gone through the, the story? That's something to ask yourself because that helps you understand theme. Also, what is the main character thinking or doing? Now we know in the story that Miami Jackson ended up signing Destiny Tate's petition to allow girls to play on the all-star team. Remember at the beginning of the story that it was something he was never gonna do. So what made him change his mind? Will that be part of our theme as well? All of those things to think about. All right, well, let's talk about what we will be doing for our assignments. On page 84, why do you think Miami says, right now, I don't even hate Destiny Tate as much? So that's your inference question. And here's your question about theme. Authors write books to teach a lesson or to make us think. We call this theme. What is the theme of Miami Jackson makes the play? So I have the story here for you on the pages that are continuing. All right. So we start right here on page 79. Again, this is just a recap of our assignments. All right, that was the last two chapters of the book. And again, so we have an inference question about 
Miami on page 84. And then also we need to think about the theme of Miami Jackson makes the play. If you've enjoyed this story, there are other Miami Jackson books. Actually, Miami Jackson Makes the Play is book two in the series. It all starts off with Miami Jackson Gets It Straight. Miami Jackson Makes the Play is book two, but they can be read in any order. And book three is Miami Jackson Sees It Through. Now, you'll know you should probably recognize the teacher on the front of that cover of the book because I think you meet her at the end of the book. All right, boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed this book. I hope you've enjoyed reading with me. We will have a whole new unit of study next week. Enjoy the rest of the book. I won't give away any spoilers. I'll see you then. Can't wait to see your work.